To her contemporaries, she was a living legend. Her photographs of men at work and at war were published for decades in Life and Fortune magazines and opened the eyes of millions of Americans. Two decades after her death, her story would be told in a film made exclusively for TNT. The movie is simply called Margaret Bork White. But there is nothing simple about its subject. I think Margaret Burke White was in the right place at the right time, and the greatness about her photographs is nobody else got it. She got it. That was the greatness about the picture. It exists. During the course of her career, Margaret Bork White welcomed countless risks in the name of photojournalism. Emmy-nominated actress Farrah Fawcett would take some risks of her own during the production. Today, she prepares to wade through a snake-infested swamp. I said, what about the water moccasins? And they said, no, this time of year, you know, they're hibernating. <laughs> I said, oh, good. <laughs> Just hope I don't disturb their hibernation. Farrah Fawcett brings to us uh, a presence. She does represent, in essence, the woman herself who stepped out of the mold and became something that a lot of people didn't feel she was capable of becoming. They have her get on these bridges and hang off of buildings and oh i'd be scared to death you know she, she's she's remarkable yeah frederick forrest plays erskine caldwell the famed playwright who would spend many years in a turbulent marriage to margaret bork white when they met caldwell was about to embark on a trip to research his newest book and was searching for a photographer and collaborator to travel with him through the rural south met her at a cocktail party he was pretty she was attracted to her i think Maybe you wanted to go on a little journey like that with her. I want this assignment. And there isn't anything I can't manage. I've been places no other woman has ever been. I've read that. I want to say I'd do anything to work with you. But that kind of talk would probably strike you as exaggerated. Probably would. So I won't say it. But you just did. Yes, I did. Their collaboration in the South marked the start of a passionate and stormy romance. And throughout their relationship, their conflict would escalate as Caldwell struggled to carve a place for himself in the life of a woman obsessed with her career. Love, hate. He loves her from the first minute, but he hates her guts. How dare this woman enter my domain? You know, I don't think you ever even wanted a home. You're full of skinny. You say one thing and you mean another. You know the trouble with you, honey, is you can't have a life with anybody but yourself. One of the most dangerous points in the production was a scene shot inside a functioning steel mill. Farrah Fawcett was the one person permitted inside without the many layers of protective clothes. It's going to be 130 degrees in there. It's going to be difficult. It's going to be hot. The sound is going to be beyond comprehension. Uh, but we've planned the scene well and we've rehearsed it well and we'll come back with something that the audience is not going to be uh, ready for. Hell. That's what it reminded me of. Intense heat. 130 degrees. Sweating, slightly exciting. <laughs> you know? It was uh, really like hell. But by far, the biggest adventure was shooting the scenes in which Margaret Bork White witnesses the German siege of Moscow. The entire production company flew overseas to the one location that could play as real. Red Square. I mean, we needed Red Square. We needed the Red Army. We needed to look like World War II. Uh, we needed the church. We needed the snow. We needed the Soviet Union. You know, it's kind of unbelievable while you're there. You keep pinching yourself. You can't believe that you're there in Red Square. It's quite different from what we're used to. The climate, the people, the food. Didn't have to pinch myself. I was reminded every day I was there. <laughs> In many ways, Margaret Bork White was ahead of her time. Her struggle to find a balance between a career and a personal life will feel very familiar to contemporary viewers. Her story, as recounted by TNT, brings into clear focus the issues of our day. It's exciting working because it's, it's um, a new network, so a lot of the restrictions were never there. Going through this experience has made me really understand what she went through you know her desire her passion her motivation her obsession i mean there's just no way to describe these these things i have something to say to you when i didn't know what to do with my life 
You told me to work and make that work mean something. Well, I have to keep doing it, with or without you. Otherwise, I'll die. <laughs>